my channel. My name is Hermione and on this channel I like to share with you guys how you can live your best life on a budget. Today's video is more organisation focused and productivity focused because I want to share some tips with you guys today about how to set up and maintain a really productive workspace that works well for you. Maybe you work from home, maybe you're a student, but if you have a workspace in your house or in your office, hopefully some of these tips will help you a little bit. And today's video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare, which is a platform that offers online learning. It's a service that I really love, so I'm really looking forward to showing you guys how I use it a little bit later on in the video. Oh hi, just popping in here really quickly to let you guys know that I've actually designed a free printable that you can get and it's downloadable in the description box and this gives you guys some prompts to help organise and declutter your workspace, so go check it out if you'd like it. So the first thing that I'm going to say is to set a schedule. If you work or study from home, you absolutely have to be on a schedule, otherwise your work day can start running into your work evening and your weekend and your private time. Setting a schedule and being really strict with yourself about doing so, maybe you want to work 9 till 5, maybe you want to work 11 till 7, maybe you want to work 6am till 3pm, I don't know. It's up to you, but being on a schedule and doing that routine every single day will keep you motivated and it will keep you on track and doing your work and less likely to start checking Facebook and reading books and having power naps because those things are so easy to do. So unsurprisingly, I'm going to talk a little bit about organization because I love talking about organization. As you can see from my desk behind me, it, there's a lot going on. I like to call it organized chaos, but um, everything has a place. I've got a system, I know where everything is. Figure out whether you need your workspace to be more minimalist or more maximalist. I'm somewhere in the middle, but maybe this will give you a headache and you need a completely clear space to work. Maybe you need lots of things going on for motivation purposes. Everyone's a bit different. Figure out how you best work and rearrange your space to reflect that. But, bringing us back to the original topic, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be organised. You really need to have a good declutter of your space, get rid of anything that you haven't used for the last few months, anything you're not going to use, really pare it down if you can to the absolute necessities that you need on your desk, and if it's not necessary, try and keep it on the wall so it's not taking up your workspace. You know, like pictures and memories and things like that, put them on the wall and not on your desk. Also, designating all of your bits and pieces to a specific space will help keep you organised and save you so much time. Next up, if you have the space to do so, create little zones in your workspace for different things. Like for example, I only really have a desk but I also have my camera story, so over there I kind of relate it to cameras and I've got my makeup for filming and over here is my editing area and downstairs is where I go and print things. If you have a whole office you'll be able to do so much more. You can have a break area, a reading nook, loads of different things for different purposes but this should definitely help you feel a lot more motivated and it will help keep you moving around your space. Next up is lighting. Make sure that the lighting in your space is the best it can possibly be. I have my desk right next to a window so I've got lots of natural light coming in. And did you know that workers who have natural light coming into their space on average sleep an extra 47 minutes per night? That's amazing, that makes you feel more energised, more revitalised and less likely to have a bit of a slump during the middle of the day. Here's an interesting tip. Think about the colours in your space. Now this is going to be partially dependent on your personal preference, but also colour psychology plays a big part in the way that your space makes you feel. If you're thinking of giving your space a mini makeover, then think about maybe incorporating some blues and some aqua colours because these are known to be calming and to evoke feelings of relaxation which will help keep you that little bit more motivated and de-stressed. My next tip is about sound. Now music has actually been proven to increase productivity, but it really depends on the type of music and the type of person that you are and what works for you. Some people do work best with no music, 
but if you do love a little bit of background music just for the ambiance then I would recommend trying to find music without lyrics that's kind of relaxing so things like instrumental music uh, classical music nature sounds these are great at a low level in the background and they won't get you as distracted as putting on your favorite song what I love having on in the background at the moment is podcasts and I can't believe how long it's taken me to realize how important podcasts are but I love listening to business and lifestyle podcasts and it's nice to have them on in the background as kind of like another voice in the room but they're also really great when I'm doing kind of mundane tasks that don't require much thinking like cutting down footage and stuff like that and they're super motivational. My favorite one at the moment is the Jenna Kutcher Gold Digger podcast. If you guys haven't heard of her, you have to check her out. I'm gonna leave her link down below, but her podcast is fantastic. She's amazing. She gives the absolute best advice for free, which is astounding, but also she's like super hilarious and her anecdotes about yoga pants are just amazing. And my next tip is about learning. So if you work from home or you study from home, one of the most important things that I think you should be doing is drinking in information about what it is you're doing or even things outside of your niche and just continuously learning and getting better at what you do. And that's why today's video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare, as I mentioned earlier. Skillshare is an online learning platform with over 16,000 courses in so many different subject areas. You can learn about photography, video editing, business, whatever it is, you can probably find it on there. Recently, I've been really keen on learning more about business and entrepreneurship, and this actually helped me a lot during the final few months of my digital marketing master's degree, where I had to set up my own business. I think Skillshare is such a fantastic resource and a great way to pursue your goals, especially if you work for yourself and you work from home. It can be really difficult if you're not sure how to do something to just hop on there and figure it out by looking at an online class. And Skillshare is very kindly giving away two free months of membership to the first hundred people that click the link in the description bar right there. There's no commitment whatsoever, but if you do want to continue using the service, you can get plans from as little as $10 a month. And the premium service will give you access to all of the courses. You can use them on the app and you can also download them for use offline too, which I think is great. So those are all of my tips for today's video. I really hope they helped you out and got you a little bit inspired maybe if you work or study from home. Let me know in the comments down below what your number one tip is for your workspace. And if you did like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. That way I know to make more organizational videos and things like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay organized, stay motivated, get inspired and have a great week. See you next time, bye.